Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of the Hermit Pack on the Hermit Pack server. <laughs> In today's episode, I want to do a couple little things. I want to get uh, early game power, ore doubling, and food for me. And I'd also like to get a smeltery set up uh, in town for all of the hermits to use. I think that would be a great thing. So, um, also, I want to get mobile storage, and there's a item in here that Iskal told me about called the Sack of Storage from the Cyclic mod. And it's pretty cheap, actually. It's just string, gold ingots, redstone, and a little bit of leather. And I think I have all that. Where? Let's see. Here's my gold... Here's a little bit of redstone. I think I've got mob drops in this chest. There we go. So let's just go ahead and make one of those and see. Uh, actually, let's do it this way. Sack of storage. Let's just go ahead and make one of these. And let's just see. Oh, yeah, that holds a lot of stuff. Fantastic. That's basically a double chest worth of stuff. Uh, so that will be very helpful for us just to kind of have some inventory space as we're going around here. Bye. Biffa's logging off. We got Biffa, myself, and Iskal on the server. Exuma was on the server earlier. He's building this quote-unquote starter house. Pretty big starter house, if I do say myself. If I do say so myself. I can't talk right now. Looking fantastic, though. Uh, makes my little dinky house look pretty derpy. Also, uh, Jassassin over here has this kind of modern house, and I helped him build this. Uh, not my greatest build, but you know what? For a starter house, it's okay. It gets the job done. Uh, I'm definitely gonna have to step up my game, it seems. I threw this up on the first day I was on the server, and now, now it's being outclassed, so we'll have to deal with that fairly soon. Uh, but anyway, power gen. So, there's a lot of options for early game power generation. There's this coal generator from Actually Additions, which does require black quartz, uh, which is actually pretty easy to get, but we have to go into the nether first to get quartz. Uh, there's also the sterling generator from Ender.io. This thing will generate 20 RF per tick. And then there's the furnace generator Mark 1 from Simple Generators. And I think this is the one that I want to go with. Let's give this thing a try. So we've got ourselves our furnace generator. Now, I'm also going to need some way to transport this power. And mechanism is an option with these universal cables. Uh, but they do require steel. And I don't have a way to get that yet. And for me to properly use them, I'm going to need this configurator. And I don't have the stuff for that yet either. So I think we might be best off going with conduits from Ender.io. Uh, and just get these basic energy conduits here. They do require conduit binders, which are just clay, uh, gravel, and sand. And then some conductive iron, which is basically redstone and iron felted, uh, smelted in a uh, alloy smelter together. So I think what I'm going to do to start with is... Let's put our... Oh, there goes my pick. That's all right. I'll make a new one. Let's put our furnace generator right here. And let's throw some coal in there. Let's just throw like half a stack of coal. Oh, wow, 64 RF per tick from that thing? That's fantastic. That's really good, actually. That's way better than I thought it was going to be. Most, uh, most generators that give you, that run on coal, generate like 20 RF per tick. So that's really good honestly, and it has a 1 million RF storage buffer. So yeah, that will definitely uh, take care of our early game power needs. So now we want to get into ore doubling, and I'm going to need a sag mill and a alloy smelter, which is right here. So there's going to be a decent amount of iron that I'm going to need for that. I think we should probably start with the sag mill. So there we go. We got ourselves the sag mill. That will allow us to double ores, which is going to be very, very useful. I also need to make myself another pick, it seems. I'm, uh, actually, we'll just use this wooden one for the moment. That's fine. There we go. So we'll put this guy down. This thing should start powering up pretty quickly. Uh, this thing is just going to continue generating power for us. So I think I will top it off with coal. There we go. 
and that will allow us to double our ores, which is going to be super, super, super useful. So let's take this iron ore right here, throw it in, and we'll just make sure. You can also put flint in here to increase uh, the chance of things of a secondary item appearing. But there we go. We're getting iron powder. So now I need a way to smelt that up. And I think we're going to want an alloy smelter. All right. So I think we now have everything we need for the alloy smelter. I also made some conduit binders so that we can get the, uh, the basic cables going. Uh, what am I missing? Iron ingots. Really? Oh, yeah. I need how many? Four? Four. And this is not going to be enough. Okay. Ooh, all sorts of fun stuff coming out over here. Let's go ahead and smelt up. Uh, let's do... I don't know. We'll do eight of these as well, I guess. I'm only going to need the one for the alloy smelter, but might as well make use of the full amount. Uh, you can go in here. Nickel dust I'll throw over here. And there we go. Now we should have everything we need for the alloy smelter. And that looks good. So now we can take that and plop it down right here. Like so. And then this thing will start powering up. And we can take our iron and get that going. And it will cook up for us, which is great. Um, this will continue to pulverize. Uh, and then we'll be good. Now, I do need to get my conduit bind or my binder composites smelted into actual bindings or a conduit binder or whatever, uh, whatever it's called. So we'll get those smelting up in the regular furnaces just to save ourselves a little time. I'm going to let this run for a little bit, guys, and then I'll be back with you in a second. All right, guys, I am back. So I think I've got everything now that I need. So let's go ahead and make some of these energy conduits right here. And we're going to put our furnace, uh, what's underneath up here? This is, this can pretty much all be torn away, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we'll just put dirt up there so the grass will spread to it. And that way we can hide all these conduits. So let's go up here, like so, there we go. That looks good. And I'll put my generator right here. And we'll just attach these over like so. And I'm going to put my sag mill here. And my alloy smelter. Actually, what I should probably do is put my alloy smelter over here. And run that to it. Oh, it loses... The generator loses all of its capacity, though. It looks like... Oh, that's too bad. So when you break this with a pickaxe, uh, or in, I'm assuming if you break it with a wrench as well, it looks like it loses all of its capacity. That's unfortunate. Um, but I guess it is what it is. What can you do? Uh, okay. So I've got that repositioned where I want it. We're going to make some of these andesite brick slabs, and I'll put one right up here because this is going to be... Uh, or actually... Let's do andesite brick stairs. Like that. There we go. And we'll put one right here. And my pick, is, my, my pick is broke again. Let's use this one. Here we go. We might as well use this up. And there we go. Okay. So that's all good. Now we're going to go a chest here and a chest here. Let me just make sure those open. And they do. So that's good. We'll put a brick here, and essentially a brick here. Uh, no, actually, just kidding. That's going to have to be a stair, too, isn't it? Because I'm going to put, a, like, a buffer chest in the middle. So let's go here and make just a couple of those. And then I think that should be good. Like so. Oh, not that chest. This chest. Beautiful. All right. 
and our buffer chest goes, what, did I just put my chest away? Or, <laughs> you know what I did? Ah, oh, man, that was, I am losing my mind. There we go. Okay, now we have our chest. We'll put that guy right here. And then we can configure these. So up here, we pull from here and push to this chest. And then this one pulls from this chest and pushes to this chest. So basically, anything that's in here is going to get pulled out. Uh, well, actually, let's just start from the beginning. So here's our power. That powers these two machines. Anything we put in here will get pulled into this alloy smelter and broken up. It'll get pushed into this chest. This chest will then transfer it over to the alloy smelter, which will smelt it up and give me the final product up here. So pretty straightforward little ore doubling system. Now, the other nice thing is that this can also be used for food. And let me show you how that is going to work. So this will be basically our early game food solution too, uh, which is going to be fantastic. So we'll put this stuff away, and I've got a fair amount of wheat, right? Now wheat can actually be pulverized into flour like that, and you get two flour per wheat. And then it can go in here which will automatically smelt it into bread, like so. So that's pretty awesome. And I believe then you can take the bread. Uh, this is the part that I'll have to do manually, but I believe you can smelt the bread into toast. Pretty sure. Yeah. Yeah, you can. The hard part is getting it in there in time. <laughs> At least I think. Yeah, you smelt, smelt bread. Turns into toast. So anyway, that's a thing. Um, we've got our bread over here. So actually, if I put this in here and we take that out, there we go. Now it's smelting the bread. And the bread will get smelted into toast, which basically gives you more food restoration than just um, bread by itself. Oh, although it looks like it's actually smelting it into bread. Hmm. Maybe it was just that. Maybe that was just leftover flour. Let's see. We should have toast here. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So you can see, bread does like I think it's two and a half. Toast will do a little bit more than that. And my torches just came. I think I threw them. Uh, but either way, that's basically going to be our early game solution for power, uh, and for food, and for ore doubling. So, kind of an all-encapsulating little thing. Now, the next thing I want to do is I would really like to get a smeltery set up for all of the hermits to use. Uh, and for that, we're going to need sand, we're going to need gravel, and we're going to need some clay. Because we need to make grout, and we need to make quite a fair amount of it. So... Let's go ahead and make a bunch, and we'll put our unused clay, sand, and gravel back. And then, we need to get that smelting up, and we'll do it like so. And that way, we get, uh, that way we'll get three smelting at once. Uh, that is going to take a little while to smelt, though, so fair warning. Uh, where is... here we go. We'll just put this stuff in here. Actually, these seeds should probably be in this chest. There we go. Okay, now, in order to actually get the smeltery all set up and everything like that, uh, I'm also going to need a few patterns. So, let's just take a look. We're going to need uh, to make a bunch of these blank patterns, and those are fairly easy to make. Let's just grab some of these. Do I have any sticks? I have two sticks. That's not a lot of sticks. Uh, let's just convert that and make some more. And then we'll do that and make some more. And that will hopefully be enough. So let's just make a bunch of these patterns. That should be plenty, I would think. And then we got to make a bunch of different things. So we make the tool station. We've got the stencil table. Uh, this is 
one of the things, and then I need, I think it's a log, if I remember my tinkers. It's been a little while. Yeah, there we go, part builder. So, we'll need those three things, and I'm just going to put them, I also need to fill that back in, or it's going to drive me crazy. Boop, 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 there we go. All right, so, we'll go one, two, three. And then this will give us the ability to make all of our stencils. I do want to make a pattern chest as well. And we'll just put that over here. Now, with the new tinkers, I think these all kind of connect, sort of. Uh, maybe not. I thought they did. Let's put this guy here. Um, do you not? Connect? Oh, it has a pattern chest over here, but that's about it. Okay, fine. So, stencils. We want to make a few stencils, and I think we probably want to make them out of probably cobble, I'm thinking. So let's just grab some cobble and throw that over here, because we'll have to make the parts. So we're going to want a pickaxe head. Actually, we're, realistically, we're going to want like all of these. Shovel, axe, hammer, large sword, etc. So let me get all of these made, and then I'll be right back with you. All right, guys, I am back. A little bit of a progress update for you. I've got a little bit over a stack of seared brick made. I also have in this sack of storage uh, a stone version of all of the parts so we can make the cast for it, although I think I need to use gold now. Uh, aluminum brass isn't really a thing anymore in Tinker's. Uh, so I'm going to have to use gold, and I don't think I've got enough, but I can always go mining, uh, to get more. So let's make a couple things. I'm going to need a drain, we'll need a faucet, and we're going to need a casting table. And then I also need a tank, which I believe, yep, there we go. So that's all good. Faucet drain. Yeah, I think that's all I need for a basic smeltery. And then a lot more seared bricks. Uh, because this this is not going to be enough to really accomplish what we need. I'm also going to need, without a doubt, some lava. So let's make, like... Actually, you know what? Let's, let's do this. Let's take a look at tanks. What options do we have for fluid tanks? We've got... Uh, and I need one that's portable. Quantum tank, tinker tank, basic fluid tank from mechanism. Um, I don't think that's going to cut it. Chiseled fluid bit tank, ender tank. Hmm. Maybe just this basic fluid tank from ender IO. Portable fluid tank can be used to empty and fill fluid containers. I think that's probably going to be the one that we want. Uh, and I should have all the stuff that I need to make it. So let's make one of those. And we can take that with us. And fill that up with lava. If we can find a spot that has a fair amount of lava. So let's put all of this stuff in here for the time being. And I'm going to run off and go fill this guy up. And hopefully we'll be good to go. All right, guys, I am filling up this tank with lava, and it seems to be working pretty well. I don't know. I'm guessing it holds. Oh, would help if I probably clicked properly. There we go. I don't know if it can hold any more than that. We'll try and get it as high as we can, though. Nope, there we go. Okay. So it holds 16 buckets of lava, which really isn't too bad. That's pretty good. Um, that'll, that'll keep me going for a while. Can I get this without it falling? Yes, good. Okay. Uh, while I'm down here in these mines... Ooh, osmium. I'm going to need quite a lot of that. I might as well do a little bit of mining, too. I'd love to get my hands on some more coal, just because I don't really have any. Um, also, fortune is going to be a thing that I need. I don't really need all that copper, but whatever. Anyway, so we've got the lava that we need, and although we're, oh, that's a creeper. I'm not going that way. We'll go this way. How did I get up here? 
or... How do I get out of here, I suppose, is the better question. Because I really have no idea. I know I didn't go very far. Hmm. That's... That's a thing. There was like a torch that lit the way, and I don't remember where it was. Let me see if I can find my way out of here, guys. I'll be back with you in just a little bit. All right, guys, I am back, and our uh, our seared bricks have finished smelting up, so I think we should have everything now that we need to make a little bit of a smeltery for everybody on the server to use, and I think I'm going to put it... I think, like, right here. This seems to be pretty much the center of town. So let's put it, like... Probably help if I was using a shovel and not an axe. Let's put it, like, right here. We'll just start with, like, a little 3x3 three three smeltery. Nothing fancy, but it'll get the job done. And let's make sure we grab all the parts that we need. And we'll just put that down here. We'll go one, two, three. Uh, we'll say the front part faces this way. Let's make, let's make some more seared bricks, and we'll make it, like, too high. Uh, here we go. And then we want our drain controller, like a so, faucet casting table. And then I need two more seared bricks. And this should now be a functional smeltery. Yes, good, it is. Okay, so I'm going to put this guy right here. And we will fill up this drain. So it's got four buckets of lava, which is the maximum amount needed. And then, let's see. So each of these casts is going to require one... Uh, or is going to require two gold. So, I think we're going to go, let's see. I think we might just put all of this in here. I can't really think of anything else I'm going to need gold for right this very moment. Yeah, let's do it. Why not? That's fine. So, we'll get that going, and then we're going to start by making a couple kind of very important casts. Like, I'm going to start with a hammer. I want to get myself a hammer and a lumber axe, and maybe an excavator, uh, but hammer and a lumber axe for sure. So there we go. We've got our gold, and we've got quite a lot of it. So now we can go ahead and make the hammer cast. And there we go. It does destroy the, uh, the cobblestone thingy. Uh, the little tool, the part itself, but that's perfectly okay. Um, I'm also going to want an ingot of some sort. I think I'll just use a, a standard iron ingot. I know you could use a seared brick as well, but then your numbers get all weird, and yeah. So we'll do that. And then what was the other thing that I need? Oh, yes, I came here to make another of those uh, pattern chests, which I will grab. I need one blank pattern. There we go. And we'll go like so. Beautiful. Awesome. Okay. Uh, how are we doing for iron? Do I have a bunch more iron smelting up? Uh, I've got a fair amount. I'm going to need uh, enough to make four blocks so that I can get my proper advanced tool forge. I think I'm actually the only one on the server right now. So I'm going to take a little bit of a sleep. There we go. And we've got our pattern chest. I will put this guy right here. And we'll just start throwing these patterns in there. So let me get a bunch of these made, and I'll come back to you. All right, guys, I am back. So I've got myself some copper ingots, a whole bunch of them. I've got all of the uh, casts made that I can. I ran out of gold, uh, but I got all the important ones. The only ones left are... Uh, the pan, the wide guard, knife blade, hand guard, cross guard, plate for the, the sign plate, and then the scythe head. Um, so all in all, I think I got all the, the really important ones made. Uh, I'm also going to need a couple more seared bricks. We will need three of those guys. 
And then I'm going to need one, two, three, four blocks of copper. And there we go. We've got ourselves a tool forge. And this guy can be used to make better tools, specifically hammers, lumber axes, things like that. Things that I am definitely going to want as quickly as possible in my life. So I think what I will do, um, there's a few options, actually. You can, uh, one thing I want to try out, there's, there's these um, sharpening kits, which apparently raise the mining level of your tool to a much higher thing. So I think I can actually make like a, a stone hammer. <laughs> which would be pretty ridiculous. We make a, like a stone hammerhead and then plates. Um, there are, let's see. Let's look at our, our uh, plate options. Uh, large plate, here we go. And each of these are gonna have different um, modifiers or abilities, I guess. So like, Obsidian will be more durable. Paper would be actually pretty good. Um, there's going to be... I mean, stone is is cheap, but it would work. Maybe iron would be the way to go. Let's see. I think iron's probably going to be my best bet. And then each of those is going to basically be uh, eight ingots if i remember correctly anyway and we'll so i'll throw some of those in there we can take our large plate and plop that down what's copper do well established i have no idea what that modifier means but we're going to try that out for our handle i think we'll give it a try the idea here is going to be that i can mine uh, that I can basically use this stuff, and the hammer that we make will be able to be upgraded, use or uh, be able to be repaired using stone, which would be super, super useful, because then I'm mining and stuff, I don't have to worry about it. Uh, okay, there we go. So that part's done. We'll get our copper smelting up as well. I'm going to need this tough rod here, and this will allow me to do a lot of mining and all sorts of good things like that. And are you done? Are you still drying? It's getting there. It's almost done. You can do it! Come on! It does take a little while, but that's okay. There we go. Alright, so we got one iron plate. I'm going to make another iron plate, and then I'm going to make a copper tool rod, uh, or tough tool rod, and we'll try this thing out. All right, guys, I am back. So what I want to do is I want to make one of these obsidian sharpening uh, kits because it'll upgrade the, the mining level to cobalt, which means it'll mine basically everything. Uh, however, I don't actually have a way to mine obsidian right now. So I'm going to try something. It may work. It may not. But I want to see if I put an obsidian block in here. Will those start doing a thing or did I just break my... I think I just broke my smeltery. Ah, oh, man. I was really hoping. Dang it. Okay. Well, we'll have to find another way to upgrade it to a obsidian mining level. I think if you add a diamond to it, I think that works. Let's just see. Materials and you. Yes. Okay. Modifiers. Glowing, blasting. Shulking, webbed. Uh, what I really want is diamond. What happens when I add un diamond? Here we go. Makes it increases what the tool mining level increased to obsidian. So if I add one diamond to this hammer, it will mine what I need it to. And I have three diamonds. I did a little bit of mining between uh, the last episode and this one, if you hadn't already realized that. Uh, no, go, go, go away. Yeah, here we go. Okay. So we're going to go hammer here, here, 
here. That gives me a stone hammer. And then I should be able to add that modifier to it. Uh, it says mining level diamond, though. Why does it not say mining level obsidian? Huh. Huh. We'll have to... Can you add multiple diamonds to it? Like, if I go... Here and like this? Nope. Brings the mining level up to obsidian. Okay. Well, I may have to make an iron pick. <laughs> I may have to make an iron pick so we can do this. Uh, let me play around with a little for a little bit, guys. I'll be right back with you. All right, guys, I am back. You know what I should probably do? Super easy solution. We'll just make a diamond pickaxe. Call it good. And then, I can just mine the obsidian the old-fashioned way, and we can throw it in the smeltery. And we should be good. That'll be problem solved, I think. There we go. So get that going, put that here, drop you into here. And if this doesn't work, I should be able to make more obsidian uh, using lava buckets and water to get what I need. Because I do want this hammer to have a mining level of cobalt, uh, or at least obsidian, so that I can go mining with it uh, and get basically everything I need. That will be very, very, very useful. Let's put all this stuff in here so it will get smelted up. Um, I think I'm probably going to need some more coal to throw in there, but we'll get that when we go mining. That'll be fine. So we've got this stone iron hammer. Oh, I don't know. Does it repair using stone? Or does it repair using iron? Only one way to find out. Let's break those. That lowers my durability a little bit. Do you repair using... S oh, that's that's Tinkers. Or that's, uh, that's Iguana Tweaks I was thinking of. Yes, it does repair using stone. Good. That's what I was hoping for. Good, good, good. Okay, excellent. So, that works as I was hoping. And now, we should have our obsidian over here, smelted up one block, and I should be able to make a sharpening kit, like so. There we go. And it says you need to combine this with flint, which I do have, so let's try this out. I've never, the, the sharpening kit is a new thing. So, I don't know how this works, or if this works, or what. Oh, there we go. Mining level cobalt. Fantastic. Super low mining speed, but that's okay. Uh, and I don't really have any redstone to upgrade the speed at the moment, but that's fine. So, this thing should basically now work amazingly well for mining, because it can just repair using stone, and if I'm running around down in the down belows, <laughs> I should have plenty of stone, so that won't be a problem. Let's go ahead, oh, hell yeah, this should work still. I do want to make one more of these sacks of storage, just for while I'm mining, that way I have plenty of space to hold goodies, and then I think I am good to go. And I'm going to do, I think, a fair amount of mining uh, between this episode and the next one. So there you have it, guys. We got ourselves a community tinker smeltery set up for everybody to use. I should probably put a sign on it that says uh, directions or, well, not so much directions, but more like uh, free to use, please replace lava and, you know, stuff like that. Um, we'll just put it down here. We'll say, please. Return parts when done. Also, remember, also, 
Um, add lava when needed. There we go. So that should basically uh, let everybody know that this is for the community to use. And we should be in good shape. I'm going to make a few more of those obsidian mining thingies because I feel like they'll be useful. And that's going to do it for me. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I do appreciate it. And it really helps out my channel. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. There are links in the video description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll definitely see you next time.